In this class, we'll be using two pieces of software. One is R and one is RStudio. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between those two and how they work together. In this class, I'm having you download both of them. And, and a useful way to think of this is that R provides the engine. So it's got all the algorithms that are churning and running when you're doing things. While RStudio provides a nice place and a nice interface for you to work while you're using that engine. So you can visualize it kind of this way. Um, R itself, again, is, is the driver inside. It's got the code that's running. But RStudio provides you a really nice place to use all of that and to see the control panels of what's going on. Um, and I congratulate you if you recognize that the RStudio image here is the DeLorean from the 80s classic movie Back to the Future. So when you open and use R, it does have its own user interface that you can work with, but it's not quite as fancy as the RStudio one. And I do prefer, I think there's a lot of really nice functionality in RStudio. And it also connects really nicely with tools that we're going to use later in the class, like Git and GitHub. RStudio, the software, is what's called an Integrated Development Environment, or an IDE. You download it separately, and then this IDE includes some things like an interface where you will have different panes that you can work with. Um, it'll include ones for the R console and a different one for scripts, a different place where you can look at your, your figures as you create them. It does code highlighting, so instead of having all of your code written in the same color of text, it will use different colors for different elements, which can help you quickly identify different parts of your text and read through it more quickly. And as I mentioned, it, it integrates nicely with tools like Git and GitHub. And then as you grow as an R developer, it will let you do other tools, including web development through Shiny. And it's got a lot of nice tools if you grow to become a person who creates packages as well through their tools for R package development. So I just was talking about RStudio as the software itself. RStudio, the company, I'll refer to a good bit as well. Um, it turns out that many of the people who work there in the company itself really is a leader in the R community. Um, so in addition to developing and free, freely providing a, a um, kind of public version of the RStudio IDE rather than the professional one that, that's a bit more expensive, um, it also provides a lot of resources for lear learning R. One of the great ones we'll work with a lot as we get started or what, what are called cheat sheets. Um, they've got uh, employees who are creating some of the most popular R packages now, and we'll be using a lot of those through the tidyverse, and then also through some of the tools for, um, for integrating code and text through the R markdown and knitter functionality. It's also a key member in something called the R Consortium. This includes a lot of companies like Microsoft and IBM that, that are companies but would like to contribute money that they can then uh, be used for funding different projects to expand the R ecosystem. So for this class, you will need to download and install both R and R Studio, and I've provided the links here and also in the course book for doing that. You might have an option for what to download um, and kind of like if you want to change from the standard defaults and the defaults are fine for everything that you'll be doing in this class.